Hey, good morning. Welcome to Sunday School this beautiful August morning, right? Um, probably not beautiful. If I'm looking forward to the um, forecast as I record this, it's supposed to rain. So maybe beautiful and maybe depends on your definition of beauty. But anyway, we're going to uh, go through Philippians 2, 1 through 11 this week. We're doing um, a lot of Philippians stuff in small groups, um, church-wide right now, or this summer we have been. So this might be something that is familiar to you, but I want to take a different look at um, this uh, this particular passage. So Philippians is written by Paul and Timothy to the church in Philippi. Um, this passage is pretty famous. It's often quoted. It's, um, like, like I said, Philippians 2, 1 through 11. Uh, so if you want to pause and read that, that would be great. Um, for the most part, this is, is pretty straightforward. Um, it talks about um, being humble and generous and sacrificial and a servant leader, uh, which are all great things. But when we get to verse 4, um, which says, let each of you look not only to his own interests, but to the interests of others, um, it gets a little more complicated. It seems simple when we read it like that, but when we um, look at the original text, uh, it gets a little bit more complicated and a little bit more um, interesting and fruitful, I think. So um, if we look at the original word, the term is, uh, I'm going to butcher this, but I'm going to try, Scopio, uh, which means instead of interest, that's what a Scopio, um, it means to take aim or to like regard as your aim. So, um, if we use that, the, um, verse four changes kind of from, uh, let each of you look not to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. It kind of changes to say your aim, not on yourself, but instead to others, right? So this suggests a number of things. I'm going to go through four really quick, and then we're, I'm going to I'm going to um, turn this video off and let you guys discuss some things. So number one, it gets at a really narcissistic view of ourselves, where we put ourselves, uh, we put all our focus and all our energy on on the good things that we accomplish. Um, but this instead challenges us to focus on the good characteristics of others. Two, it pushes us to celebrate others um, rather than celebrating ourselves, which we like to do. Uh, I like to do. <clears throat> um, it challenges us, this is three, it challenges us to look at the traits of others, the traits of others that are better um, than us are not are not competition, but there's something to aspire to, right? So if someone's better at something than us, it's not bad that we aren't as good as them, but it's inspiration that we can reach that. And then four, um, it really sets up the rest of the section, verses five through 11, um, in the mindset that, that Jesus had come... Um, when Jesus came to be God the Father, he did not stand on his accomplishments and his character traits, but instead he looked at the Father for inspiration, uh, what else could be done and what else he could give and be. So um, read through Philippians 2, 1 through 11, and then go through these questions that I have below uh, with a parent, with whoever, uh, whoever you want to call, whoever you got at your disposal. Have a good Sunday.